G'day guys, look at Sunseeker Caravans, we suffer from two OCDs, obsessive caravan disorder and obsessive car disorder. Each one of these vehicles does between 30 to 50,000 k's a year towing caravans. We're very, very, very experienced in regards to the towing uh, of a caravan and how to set your vehicle up to be safe and comfortable when out on the road. Really excited to introduce you to the latest member of our vehicle fleet here. It's the uh, 2018 GXL 200 Series Land Cruiser. We've got our colour-coded ARB bull bar. It's been brilliant. It's already been tested a couple of times and uh, not a mark on it, it just brushes off. Fitted to this vehicle, as all our vehicles have, is the under vehicle protection from ARB. It goes right through and covers underneath the engine, underneath the transmission and also the transfer case, protecting all those really critically important components underneath the vehicle. I work really closely with Speedy Wheels. They're a strong rated alloy, Australian company. Really, really happy with them. I've also upgraded the tyres from the factory ones to the Mickey Thompson ATZ P3. It's an aggressive all-terrain, brilliant tyre. The lugs are far enough apart not to pick up the rocks and get chucked back at the caravan when you're towing and still give amazing traction. We've got our brush bars. If you're a bit ambitious off-road, maybe a bank or a tree that you need to brush down the side of your car, protects all your paintwork. A really good addition, I highly recommend them. Hands down, one of the best additions that I've put on this vehicle is the Safari R-Max Snorkel. It allows for very high volumes of cool, clean air to travel into the engine. Now, at the tail of that though, I've added the uh, Safari ECU upgrade to this vehicle, and the power upgrades that it provides are nothing short of astounding. Look, the BT has been a very loyal, hard-working companion on some amazing adventures that I've been very blessed to be able to go on with a caravan. We've been to the beach, we've been to the outback, we've been to Land Cruiser Mountain Park, and every time the BT's done it, and they've done it easy and done it well. We decked it out right with all the ARB gear right from the start, which I can tell you is a really important thing if you're going to be serious off-roading with a caravan. We've got the colour-coded bull bar, brush bars and side steps on there as well. Those side steps have done some great work in protecting the sills. Very, very good idea to get those fitted if you're a serious off-roader. Again, we've got the under-vehicle body protection. It saved us many, many a time when we've been going up rocky tracks or trees or branches rubbing through underneath. The suspension that we've got under this vehicle is Old Man Emu. It's a 50 mil lift and it has a 300 constant load rear spring in it as well. It's been able to handle any van we've ever thrown at it. All loads up to 350 kilos and that's on-road and off-road. BT has handled it absolutely no problems on and off-road. I have to say this vehicle with all the ARB suspension under it, all the steel work that we've got around the vehicle as well, it performs really, really well. The engine delivers the power well, the transmission always knows what gear to have at the right time. If you've got a caravan that weighs in between 3 and 3.5 tonne, the BT50 is more than capable of managing your towing duties. One of the hardest working cars in our fleet is the uh, Land Rover Discovery behind us. It's actually my wife's car. It did a lot, a lot of miles towing caravans, about 50,000 a year. It is absolutely beautiful to drive. I joke about it as being like a magic carpet towing a caravan. It's only the 2.7, it's a 2008. It's now clocked over 220,000 kilometres and still going beautifully smooth. Now we've had a couple of you know, dramas along the way, but in all, it's been a fantastically reliable vehicle. Its power when towing is beautiful, and that's right from the small vans right through up to the big three and a half ton vans. And we use this vehicle still for our holidays with the family um, on and off road towing. They get a bit of a hard time for reliability, but in saying that, a lot of cars suffer from reliability. Probably not my first choice though with going around the outback, but I can tell you now, you certainly could do a lot worse. Put it on your shopping list if you're not going to be going crazy outback touring. We pretty much have everything you could possibly do to a Navara. We've got ARB's top of the line steel bar. We've also connected in the brush bars, which again, add another level of strength. We've got full underbody protection from your ARB as well. The combination of that bull bar with that under vehicle protection allows for you to really do some outback touring and not fear animal strikes on the road. I actually like to opt for the smallest alloy that I can get onto the vehicle safely with a good quality tire to match. I've opted for the Speedy Outlaw, which is a great wheel. They last. They still wash up like brand new. There is no substitute for clear view mirrors. With the lower mirror, it's a convex mirror, so it covers a lot more area and it allows you to see a lot more when you're towing. 
One of the newest additions to the fleet is the, uh, the Triton over here. It's a good performer, it tows really well. Needed a couple of tweaks, again, the minimum that I say is needed. So we've done an ARB, old man emu suspension upgrade, two 300 uh, constant load uh, spring upgrade in the rear, about a 40 mil lift, and it drives absolutely brilliant with a van on and without a van on. We've also again gone for the full underbody protection on this vehicle. And soon when these uh, soft, cushy factory tyres wear out, we'll be going with another set of Mickey Thompsons. Now this car is going to be a very, very reliable vehicle in our fleet. The Triton with a towing capacity closer to the 3 tonne than the 3.5 like a lot of its competitors is rather honest with its figures. And it achieves towing around the 3 tonne quite well. I would suggest if you're going to be towing with the Triton, probably between the 2.5 and the 3 tonne is a sensible weight to put behind it. And it does it work very, very well. The money you save on buying a Triton will certainly go a long way towards getting the upgrades for your ARB suspension, maybe a bull bar, a winch, roof racks, you name it. That savings can go a long way. If you need some help with choosing your caravan in your car, we'd love to hear from you at Sunseeker Caravans. We can deck you out with a beautiful caravan. We can also get your car spot on as well. Make the adventures in the outback absolutely awesome.